What's up everyone? Jed here with uh, Hunt Mobile Welding again and uh, I did a thing. I went and picked up this CE6K Venturo truck crane for a little bit here and uh, I want to get it mounted on the truck here and uh, that's what we're going to do for this project this week. Uh, last week I I had a project I had done and uh, when I went to go edit my video, I lost all of my audio. So um, I figured that wouldn't be very, very entertaining just listening to me talk over everything. So uh, this week we're gonna put this crane on the truck and uh, see how it works out. Uh, let's get started. Everything. And uh, the plan here is that we are going to mount it on the frame down here. Uh, there's a cross member for the bed here and we are going to make a uh, square uh, support frame between the two cross members to support it. Um, we got some of this angle iron here. Um, I believe it is two inch by two inch, maybe three inch by three inch. And uh, yeah, that's the project for this week. Let's get started. Yeah, so the base plate for the crane is square and the holes are seven and a half inches on center. So from the middle of this C channel for the bed, seven and a half inches out is to this first green mark, if you guys can see them or not. Right here. That's seven and a half inches from the center of this. So that'll be one hole, that'll be two holes. Seven and a half inches over is that other hole. And then seven and a half inches back to the center of the C channel again over here will be where the fourth hole is. And then from there, um, I just wanted to get those marked out so I know where to put the angle iron, which is gonna go all the way across the support beams and just to give it some rigidity. And then I'm gonna put one across too. So it's gonna box it out pretty much uh, to make it a little more rigid to support the crane. It uh, looks like it's 18 inches from the back C channel all the way over to this the next C channel member. So I need two pieces at 18 inches long and one at whatever the distance is, seven and a half between the two, uh, two bolt holes. So I'll probably make two at seven and a half. Alrighty, everyone. Uh, so for this subframe, I will be using this angle iron. It is three inch by three inch. Um, I need two pieces that are 18 inches long. And then I need uh, two pieces that are seven and a half inches long. Um, so I'll just use the scraps that I cut off of these two pieces here. Um, I didn't think this was three inch. I've always been lied to what that looks like anyways. So uh, I squared the ends up and uh, we'll get welding on this stuff here. Just a second. All right, uh, today we're gonna be using this uh, Evolution Evo 230 HD. Uh, I just picked this one up uh, off of Facebook. Pretty good deal. Um, still has a blade in it that I have been using. Uh, I should probably get a new one here soon. But uh, yeah, let's see how this thing runs. enough for the girls I bring home.
pretty straight cut and it's it's nice and cold. I like this saw a lot better than the abrasive saw that I was using. Uh, it's straight as I need it anyways. Cut. One more to cut. Looks like that one actually might work. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do is because of the, it's a C channel on the other side. I'm gonna have to cut out a little bit of the bottom side so it'll slide in. I can weld the top out and then weld the side down. But I, because it's so fat, the three inches, the C channel it won't it won't go into the C channel. So I'll have to grind get the grinder out and I'm just gonna cut a little chunk out of the sides here. All right, I am gonna use the handheld grinder on this one just because it it's hard to get that uh, that big saw up there. So I will be using the grinder here. I suppose a face mask would help. Alrighty, everyone. What I come up with, uh, this cut didn't need to be so deep, but it shouldn't be an issue. And then I have a relief cut for the uh, brake lights. Um, as you can see, this is pretty pretty straight in my eye. But well, per usual uh, Jed fashion, when I'm building something by myself, I don't take my time. And I uh, I was marking out where my first drill hole should be and I cut it short by about a quarter inch and this is what I ended up with I caught right on the side of the cross member yeah go on by thank you I don't understand it I live on a back road and I see like 10 cars in a month and then as soon as I turn the camera on it's it's just constant but as I was saying, I caught the just the very corner of the C channel cross member. So I had to drill another hole a quarter inch away. So this this hole is smack dab center of the cross member. So I'll have to uh, get the welder out and I will just fill this hole in. But now that I have my first pilot hole drilled, I can go seven and a half inches. Hopefully I measure right back and then seven and a half inches square seven and a half inches seven and a half inches and then it should be square and then i should be able to drill my holes so this was a really good uh measure twice cut once scenario uh, i'm glad i only had one pilot hole drilled before i uh went any farther and i'm glad i double checked the 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 distance between these because of the on the uh the data sheet it says that it is seven and a half inches from hole center of hole to center of hole but it is actually seven and five eighths from center to center so i'm glad i checked that um so what i'll do here now is i will get this uh, base plate uh centered over my first pilot hole and then i will just drop the uh drop the points for the other three and I will get those drilled out. Whew. Working by yourself is fun. I had to chain it up just to lift it up. It's so heavy I can't do it by myself. But what I did was here, I don't know if you can hear me or not. I, uh, I marked the outside with a paint marker as well, but I just dabbed on the insides of those uh, bolt holes to mark out where I should be painting. This way I don't need to measure it all. It should be right on. Now, try and get this thing down without 
killing myself. That's all four holes drilled. Let's just hope they're square. Alrighty. I got all the holes drilled out through the sub or through the frame and through the bed. Um, next I will uh, get those new cross members in and weld those up and then we can drill holes right through them, right through this. Just so I don't mess it up at all. I think in my self-proclaimed professional opinion that we were going to be doing this in 7018 just because my truck is a rusty piece of shit. So, that's what we'll do. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get these plates up in here and it's like... Pardon my French while I beat these in. All righty, cool beans. Check that out. Looks beautiful. Got the bolts in, and there is plenty of threads for me to use, which is awesome. Um, the only issue I'm having here is I think I might, I might be in the way of my board to keep my, my tailgate, um, put my board on my tailgate. Uh, we'll see if it, if it is, uh, awesome thing about this. I don't need to move the base. I just swing it around the other side. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, get this all welded out on the bottom and then get these bolts on and then we can test it out.
not bad. So now we've tightened down all these bolts down to the, the bed and the frame. We got it all welded up. You're really a welder if you don't burn yourself at least once on every project. Well, let's see here. I got it all welded up. We got it welded on both sides. Can't really get in there. Whew. Alrighty, everyone. After a long day of struggling with this uh, wiring, we are all hooked up and this is actually the first time I am turning this power switch on. So, let's see if we have power. Grab the remote here. Climb on up. Plug the remote in. If I can do this one handed. Let's try the other hand. There we go. Let's see. No power. That's about my luck. Oh! <laughs> Alrighty. It works. I am thoroughly surprised. Alrighty. Well, now that we have power, let's see if we can actually Pick something up. Alrighty, everyone. It's done. All mounted up. Uh, we've got our four mounts. Swings freely. I like it. Woo. And our mounts are holding. Um, the last thing I think I want to do here is try and pick something up, but I don't know what to try and pick up yet. How about a trailer? Let's go try one of those. Alrighty, everyone, that's the end of this video. And uh, yeah, this thing is gonna be a great help. Uh, it take the, the load off my back and uh, I'll be able to use this a lot. Uh, I will be putting a outrigger or downrigger on that side, a trailer jack that I can take on and off uh, <coughs> just for some extra stability. But uh, thanks for sticking around guys. And uh, when we hit a hundred subscribers, um, I think I'm going to be doing a welding giveaway. Uh, what it is yet, I don't know. It may be a welding hood, uh, maybe a couple pairs of gloves, 
Um, but I think that's really doable in the next couple weeks here. So thanks for sticking with me. And remember, when in doubt, grind it out.